Hi guys, Les Taylor here, and currently I am in beautiful Acadia National Park in Maine. And today, I want to bring you a photography quick tip about adding depth to your images. Depth is really important in landscape photography because it gives the viewer a sense of placement within the image. It gives them a sense of what's in front, what's behind, and what's all around. Now in traditional landscape photography with a wide angle lens, we add depth to the image by using a strong foreground element in tandem with the background element. For example, you may use rocks or flowers in the foreground and then a mountain or a sunset in the background. And together, this gives depth to the image. But if you're shooting with a telephoto lens, even a short one as I am today, you have to find a different method of adding depth to the image. One means of doing this is by lowering your aperture or your f-stop. If you lower your f-stop, then it will blur everything that you don't focus on. So for example, in this path here, I want to focus on the center of the path. And if I shoot with a low aperture or a low f-stop, then the trees in the front here and the trees in the background will be blurred. And this will give a sense of placement. It will allow the viewer to actually feel like they're walking down this path. Let me show you what I mean. So right now I'm shooting in portrait mode because I also want to give a sense of the height of these trees. So that's going to help me get more of the tree in the image. Now my settings, I'm shooting at f2.5. Now in this situation you could shoot anywhere between your lowest f-stop, maybe 1.8 or 1.4 depending on the lens, up to maybe 3.5 to 4. And that should blur out everything that you don't want focused on pretty nicely. So I've got f2.5, I'm shooting at 1 500th of a second, and my ISO is at 100. So let's go ahead and take a shot and I'll show you what I mean. So I've got everything composed, I've got my settings ready, and I'll take the photo. So you can see there that by using a lower f-stop, I was able to blur out the trees in the front and blur out things in the background and only focus on the center of this path. And by doing that, it gives the viewer that sense of actually walking down the path, of actually having these beautiful trees behind and front and on either side of them. And so that allows them to really feel like they're walking through the path, even though they can't actually be there with me. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful to you. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'll see you next time, but until then, stay safe and happy shooting.